Hi there, Giuliano here. Well, everyone knows that I love languages, right? But how did it all start? Today I'm gonna tell you the story of my first polyglot experience. And perhaps this is what enticed me to learn languages later on. It happened in 1989 when I was 10 years old. Back then, my family was living in Rio because my father was doing his master's degree in computer science. So we had moved from Fortaleza to Rio to live there for two years in 1989 and 1990. And uh, it was a very special time in my childhood because I loved this school and I made many friends over there that I still have contact with today. Whenever I go to Rio on vacations, for example, I meet them. And also, we lived in a condo where there were many children my age and we could play almost every day together. It was really nice to live in Rio for two years when I was a child. So, one day my father bought a CD-ROM with a book an interactive book and I don't know if it was in a book fair or in a regular bookstore but the thing is that he brought this CD home and gave it to me and then I opened it in the computer because we have always had computers at home um, my father is a uh, computer science professor since the 1970s so it was very nice for us to have computers at home even in the early 80s and then I opened the CD and started taking a look at the book and it was very nice it was a story about a boy and his grandmother and the story was told in three languages English, Spanish and Japanese and we could uh, read the story and listen to the dialogues in all those languages and it was a very small book it had like uh, 12 pages a children's book right with illustrations and images and pictures, drawings, and we could interact with the scenario. We could click on the objects and uh, they did different things depending on which page we were. So, I remember that I watched this video with the story many times in English, in Spanish, and also in Japanese and I even memorized the first sentence of the book and uh, the sentence was we went to the beach just grandma and me and also in Spanish fuimos a la playa solo abuelita y yo and finally in Japanese boku Obachanto Ishanyumiaitanda. And then I memorized some of the sentences of this story in each language, but as time passed, I only remembered the first sentence because it stuck in my mind in English, Spanish, and Japanese. And today I can speak English and Spanish, but uh, I have never studied Japanese, so. The only thing that I can say in Japanese is that I went to the beach with my grandmother. I don't think it's a very useful sentence when I go to Japan someday, perhaps. But, well, and uh, when I was preparing this video, I googled this sentence. Uh, we went to the beach, just grandma and me, and I found it on YouTube because I didn't remember the name of the book 
and also the author and nothing else. Just this sentence in three languages. And then I found it on YouTube and I'm going to put here the link so that you can watch it. It's a children's book by Mercer Meyer. He is an American children's book writer and illustrator and has published over 300 books so far. I was very happy because I found that out and also that I could take a look at that video again from 27 years ago, right? And uh, also the other books of the same series talk about other family members for example just grandpa and me my sister and me things like that let's take a look at some of the other titles for example just a mess I just forgot just me in the tub and this one is the one that I read just grandma and me you see they are some kind of animal let's take a look at some of the pages this is the first page where we can read that sentence we went to the beach just grandma and me the sentence that I memorized for years and years in three languages and then uh, they have a little dialogue with each other and uh, talk about the bus, talk about going to the beach it's not just this sentence here but they talk to each other also and we can click in the several different uh, elements of the scenery you can see here another page of the book with another sentence I built a sand castle just for grandma but a big wave came grandma said that's what happens to sand castles and we will build a new one next time and then there was some animation that you can take a look on YouTube the wave came and destroyed the castle and then we could click on some elements of the picture etc etc and then I went to Wikipedia and discovered that there is an entire series of books with these same characters and the name of the series is Little Critter and critter is an informal word for creature or animal, right? This is the little critter, the main character. And I see on Wikipedia that little critter is an anthropomorphic character created by Mercer Meyer. Although it's not specified what species the little critter is, he resembles a small and furry rodent-like creature such as a wombat, porcupine, hamster, rabbit, capybara or guinea pig. This is the main character of this series of books, Little Critter. Very interesting. So, this book, Just Grandma and Me, was written in 1983 and when I was 10 years old in 1989 I read it for the first time in a CD-ROM that my father bought me and I read it in three languages English, Spanish and Japanese and I memorized some sentences in all those languages and perhaps, I don't know, this is what made me like languages but I finally started to learn languages when I was only 14 years old that is four years later and then I learned French and German and Spanish and so on so something that started in my early childhood made me like languages perhaps and uh, that's what I am doing until today. I hope you enjoyed this little story of my first polyglot experience and uh, perhaps you could share with us 
what was your first polyglot or even foreign language experience and uh, how you started to learn languages. I would like to read your comments here in this video and uh, see you next time. Bye!